All right, so today, back on the convertible. Um, gonna start breaking the chassis down, getting it moved around, and I'm gonna start uh, revealing my plan for the chassis. So let's get into it. All right, so originally I was going to use, when I first bought the car, we'll say, I was gonna leave it all stock, all original, drum brakes, no modifications at all. I have the Bandit, in which we'll go look at that chassis in a minute. That's hot rod. That's I'm not worried about it. Anything being original, basically body and number, body and pan numbers match. But other than that, it's kind of whatever goes is fine. Hot rod, not original numbers matching like this car. So I've gone through a few different plans for the car in a couple of years. I've owned it, and even since I. Started pulling it apart before I even pulled the body. I had a plan and now it's changed again. That's just how it goes. All right, so enough of that. All I'm gonna use off here now is the original steering box and I'm gonna swap this beam over to the Bandit and we'll go check that one out. I'm not gonna get rid of this because I'm gonna keep every original piece of this car in case it ever goes back to 100% original. All right, so here's the Bandit chassis. Now, I was just going to use drop spindle disc brakes on the other front end and just lower it that way to kind of get rid of, I mean, it had that squat going and I'm not into the squat, you know, so I wanted to get that nose down, but the problem is, is I changed my wheel and tire combo since I started this, started blowing this car apart. And now with the wheels and tires that I'm going to run, it'll be too wide. And that's not cool. I'm not going to do that. So the only way to remedy that is to go with the two inch narrowed beam. And that's what this is right here. So I'm going to take all of this and put it in the convertible. I'm going to pull it off here, put the convertible stock beam on here. This is a brand new Chinese steering box I bought uh, three or four years ago. I'm not going to use that on the convertible. So we're going to swap these steering boxes and swap beams. And then this one, I'm just going to get up here on the bench so I can start blowing it apart because this color scheme doesn't go with what I got planned for the convertible. All right, let's get to it.
Okay, I haven't pulled these valve covers off before, so let's pop them open and see what it looks like inside. The whole car looks like it was maintenanced extremely well. So if it had, it should be pretty clean in here. Let's see what we get. It's just like 68,000 something miles on this. for a closer look here. Let's see, I got it on the tripod, so it might be a little more difficult. I guess that's about what you'd expect, especially sitting as long as it had. Let's go to the other side and see what that looks like. So is it better or worse? Sludges, sludges. Ah, can't even speak. Well, I've seen worse. I'll put it that way. <laughs> That's a good close-up shot. It's a good thing we're taking it apart. Okay, back over here on one and two, you can definitely see it up here. So now we know what it looks like in there. Like I say, not horrible, not the worst I've ever seen. And I mean, obviously it's sat for, well, 82 to now. So long time, good 40 years of sitting, you know, what do you expect, right? Okay, so we might as well just jump right into this one and start breaking it down and Maybe go ahead and pull the heads and all that kind of stuff just to see what kind of surprises may lie ahead. Might as well get them all out of the way now before we get any further on. So let's get into it.
let's drain the oil before we go any further and see what it looks like. Pick up on camera the bottom of the surgeon part. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if it'll focus or not, but there's the drain plug. Slowly but surely. any metallic in it. So at this point, I'm mean, just best thing to do is just take it out and pressure wash it. There's too much crap caked up here. And I'm going to have to split the case and completely dismantle this thing to clean and inspect everything anyway. Um, all the sludge built up in it and stuff. So, just get a quick look at it before I take it out. Hot water, pressure washer. Man, that's the way to go. Much, much better. Flip it up here. Maybe, there we go. A little residual, but that's fine. Because <clears throat> I'm getting ready to pull the heads and all that, so. Doesn't really matter. I didn't want all the crap falling down in the block because who knows what it looks like in there and I don't want it to get in crank bearings and thing, things like that in case I don't need to blow it apart. So most likely everything will come completely, completely apart, but maybe not. Let's find out.
to clean them up good. Let's see. track. Well, this side, the cylinders insisted they were coming with a head. So rather than to break fins off and do all that mess, just let it, let it happen. That's fine. Um, but now these pistons look good. Not bad at all. I ended up just shifting everything into my first bay here where I generally just do, you know, like engine work, you know, it's kind of a clean room slash storage. Uh, got this pan in here out of the way. I just got several projects come in. I got a 79 triple white convertible uh, bug just came in. Got to do rust repair on that. Um, I got a Harley that just come in. Got to do some paint and body work on that. Um, some jet ski stuff come in. I mean, just several things. And I got to keep rolling with, you know, the normal workload. So as of right now, this is as far as I can get because I have to jump back onto those, but I did want to get in here and get this motor broke down more to, you know, see if, you know, cylinders were good, you know, did they have pitting, you know, things like that. Um, I didn't break it down any further just because I don't want parts getting mixed up, switched, swapped, and I need orders. So I'm going to put rings in it, just why not, right? Um, there's no scoring in the cylinders, anything like that. So there's no need to replace them and you're not going to get better than the original German parts from the factory. So they're in good shape, use them. Um, so that's my plan with it. Cause like, you know, this is mine, this isn't a customer build. So, you know, I get to make the calls with this one and that's just what I want to do. So I'll end up blowing the case all the way apart, you know, clean everything really well, inspect it. But I, you know, all the lifters look fantastic. You know, there's no wear on them. The cam looks great from, you know, looking down in there with the light and everything like that. So absolute worst case scenario, I put a set of main bearings, rod bearings, and some rings in it, which most likely it's just gonna be a set of rings. But we'll see when I split that apart. Um, but I need to get those parts coming, just have it on hand, that way I can just blow it apart the rest of the way and slam it all back together. Kind of the same thing with the chassis here. I need to order, you know, pan halves. I want to get the tabs. I was going to hack out the old floors, but I'm going to leave them to take the measurements for the tabs for the, the uh, rubber mats. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave that for now. No big deal. Got the trans off. I can blast that. I'm going to order one of those sandblasting kits for your pressure washer. So I can go ahead and just blast the case and everything, you know, get it all sealed up so I don't get anything inside, but just <clears throat> clean it up, make it look fresh because there's no need to disassemble that either. At most, I'm going to pull the axle tubes and, you know, I'm going to paint them up real nice and reseal them and things like that. But I'm not, I'm not going to split the halves on the trans or anything. There, there's just no need. So anyway, I want to wrap this one up. I'm going to put in some pictures here of an interior kit that I have for sale. I have a new TMI water blue OEM style interior kit for sale, 1300 shipped and no delay, 70, seven to 14 week delay through JBugs and everywhere else. Brand new, I have rag top and hard top headliner. All right, so if you're interested in that interior kit, just let me know. I'll put my information in the description below and just let me know and I'll get it shipped out to you. So thanks again for everybody that subscribed to the channel. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Really appreciate it. Leave me a like. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. That's fine. Um, comments. I appreciate everyone's input um, and taking the time to leave them for me. I, I really do appreciate that. So 
If you feel like it, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. What would you do? You know, things like that. That's cool. So, like I said, I got more projects coming in. So the next video will either be, I got Mike 73 still in here. Uh, he's waiting on parts to come in. He wanted to do a few more things to it with the interior and such. So haven't wrapped that one up yet, but that video will be coming out here anytime. Uh, just waiting for those parts, like I say, and then uh, the convertible, the Harley, all that, plus this one. So stay tuned for lots more and I'll see you next time.